Hi, my name is Luciano Ferrari and I will be your instructor for this course on hacking web applications from a penetration tester perspective. This is going to be awesome. I hope you enjoy it. We have a lot to cover, so let's get started with some basic introductions. First of all, my name is Luciano Ferrari. I'm on Twitter at Luciano Ferrari and I have over 20 years of experience in IT and more over 10 in information security. I also have an MBA. I hold multiple security certifications. I have a wife and a son. I love being a hacker and a security professional. It's very fun to break things, but it's maybe even more challenging and rewarding to fix things, to secure systems. And maybe that's why I love it, because it's always different every day and requires me to be updated all the time. By the end of this training, you'll be able to learn how to launch attacks on web applications the same way black hat hackers do it. You will also learn how to secure web applications and prevent those attacks to happen. We are going to start with some basics on how to set up your lab, how to set up your computer for penetration testing. Then before going directly to hacking, we'll talk a little about how websites works. Then we move for the fourth step on web application hacking, which is information gathering. Then we'll move to discover, exploit, and protect, and we will be very, very practical. I'll always provide some tips on how to protect the systems from the topics we cover. Then finally, we move to post-exploitation. Uh, what we do with the access we gained, how to upload, download files, navigate to the target systems, and accessing the database. This is just a very high-level overview on what we're going to be covering, so let's get ready. As I mentioned, this course is very hands-on, and we don't want you to get in trouble, face any legal issues. So you are not going to uh, real, uh, attack real or hack real and online systems, but we will build a lab to hack our own systems. This is very, very important for you to understand. Don't get into trouble. There's a big difference between a magical hacker or a white hat hacker and a black hacker with malicious intentions. I think that's clear to everybody. But there is a very, very thin line between those two from a law perspective. We're not going to get into details about law here or laws here, but you have to make sure uh, that all of the laws and requirements on the country and the city that you are, what they are, before doing any penetration testing, or where those systems are hosted. Yeah, that, that's, that's very, very important also. You may think that uh, maybe the law will not apply to you, just based on, on where you are, but you also have to consider where those systems you are going to test are hosted. Get real permissions for do any penetration testing with a very clear scope that is allow it what is not allow it the target systems ip addresses every detail that you can add that's for your protection it is also a good practice to keep logs of everything and even sometimes to record what you're doing because if something happens uh, something goes down and even if it was not you because you know you were on the wrong place at the wrong time, you'll be blamed. So if you have a record of everything, that'll be very, very handy. Today, we also have tons of options that uh, were not even possible some time ago, like bug bounties programs, uh, where you can hack into real systems and even get paid for that if you find bugs and you find vulnerabilities in the systems. But again, only do it with reading permissions and under the right scope and limits. During the next sessions, I'm going to cover how to set up the labs you need in details before start hacking. So let's move on.